My name is Larry and I'm at the uh, Jacksonville Commons Park and I try to come out here and walk every day and it's such a beautiful place. I enjoy it and I walk every day that I can. Hey Larry. Hey, how are you? This is my vlog. <laughs> Glad to meet you. Ah, nice to meet you too, Larry. So yeah, I was thinking about walking around this lake too. You'll enjoy it, I'm telling you. We got, we got the restrooms here. Okay. And you can see the beauty that right there's an, enough reason to come walk. It really is. This is the hotel idea for a breakfast now. You stand right here, order it on the menu, basically waffles or cereal, and then wait for the person to come serve you. There's no self-service anymore. Big specialty about this place is that they got 60 flavors of waffles. They pride themselves in that. Here at the Hampton Inn and in Suites in Jacksonville, North Carolina, the worker who works in the kitchen is a renowned waffle chef. She makes waffles with 60 different flavors, which she actually invented. She's even writing a book, which she's going to publish in March. I thought that was pretty unique. Right now, I heard that across the street there's this park. So I wanted to go check it out. It's down this way, apparently, I was told. So I want to see how big it is, or if it's even manageable to get there upon foot. Morning. Morning, how are you? Pretty good, how are you? Alright. Hey, where's that park? What park? Uh, they said there's a park like not that way. Don't know, I'm not from around here. Oh, you're not from here? Uh, Where are you from? From Raleigh, man. Oh, Raleigh, okay. Yeah. How about how yourself? Oh, I'm from Las Vegas. Las Vegas? What are you doing out here? I'm just visiting. Oh, uh, yeah, man. I just left Vegas uh, earlier this year, man. Oh, really? You used to live there? No, I was just visiting. Oh, okay. You yeah, went to man, visit. Man, you know, I gotta go visit Vegas, man. Great place to vacation, man. Were you there after the pandemic? I was. So was it pretty empty? It was. From everybody that was telling me, it was like, yeah, man, it was like on um, maybe like 50% compared to maybe like less than 50 oh, really? compared to what they say they normally see. Oh, I mean, okay. I enjoyed it, I guess, because it wasn't so crowded on the strip, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Take it easy, man. Take care. All right. I think it's this way now. I gotta ask someone else. He wasn't from around here. I think I found that park that he was talking about yesterday. Here it is. It says Richard Ray All-American Park. It's a pretty generic name, but it is in America, so it makes sense. Looks like there's some sort of dead end road here. There's some picnic tables over there. Some places to play soccer and kickball here. What I want to see is the parking lot and if they have any major attractions like tennis courts and whatnot. Besides the one picnic area here, they do have a lot of sidewalks for walking. So I think people come here to walk their dogs, run, jog and whatnot. So there is some science so you can learn some history about the US. They have this nice little bridge. However, there's actually no water down below. I guess it's just a small valley that they wanted to cross with this bridge. In this area, there's another picnic area, Shelter One. This place is also accessible for wheelchair people. And just on top of this mound is the Jacksonville Amphitheater with a fountain in the front. Some seating here. It's pretty nice. I don't know what kind of events they hold here. But there is a sign over there that I can check. It might tell what kind of events are held here. And as expected, everything's canceled in life, so there's no events. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Hey, is there like any tennis courts around here? Yeah, I'll just follow this trail across the street up there in the corner. Yeah? About two or three hundred yards. There's a bunch of them. Oh, great, great. That's great. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Today you're just doing your morning walk? Oh, I walk out here every day. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm Jason. What's your name? Larry. Larry, nice to meet you. Same here. So how old are you? He's 77 to 26. Wow, okay. <laughs> so how do you feel being 77? Almost. Uh, good as ever. Really? <laughs> That's pretty good. Never drunk no liquor. Never smoked. Yeah. Don't never intend to. And try to eat. Of course, that's hard to do. That's hard to do. Eat healthy. Eat, eat what? Yeah. <laughs> if you get around people, they're, they're having something. It's hard to say. No, I can't eat that. Ah, uh, okay. But, uh, so no drinking and no smoking is the key to long life, huh? Be, no, I'd say luck. Luck? Because you can get out here on this road and get killed just like that. <laughs> oh, what okay. I say about that, and it doesn't matter if you're in a plane, you know, on the train, or walking, or where you at. Because even at your age, you probably think, why did that person die? How come it weren't me? Yeah. Just each one time. Oh, 
my bad. But in it, you can figure to you if you live with me a hundred. I'm sure it'll always come back. Well, you die when your time comes. So just live life as you want to, huh? Yeah. All right, that's good advice. Treat people like you want to be treated much as you can. Yeah. So you exercise almost every day? Uh, yeah. If I can come out here and walk, I will. How often do you come for a week? About every day. Wow. How many miles do you think you put in? Between five and nine. Five and nine miles. So that's like at least one or two hours, huh? Yeah, sometimes I'll start about 7.30. Oh, wow. Walk till 11. Oh, wow. So you've been out here three hours. <laughs> that's dedication. Well, a lot of times I'll start and I'll see people come, see people go. Uh -huh. And I think, hey, because <laughs> I don't care if you're young, middle-aged, old, everybody needs exercise. And what better medicine than walking? <laughs> I've had yeah. a lot of people to tell me that. Oh, uh, okay. Are you a news person? No, I just do world travels. <laughs> you do? Yeah. I've been all around the world. <laughs> so now I'm visiting North Carolina. Well, but... You know what? You got, seriously, you got an interesting life. Oh, yeah? In fact, if I live 20 years from now, and say you wrote a book, uh -huh. of your it would be an interesting book to read. Yeah, I think I'll work on uh, writing a book then. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> if you uh, live something, uh -huh. been there, done that, yeah. then you got a story you can tell. Yeah, exactly. Not hearsay, it's for real. Yeah. And I think that's what people want. Yeah. All right. Well, what, brings you, what brings you to this location? Though? Oh, I'm just passing through to uh, Jacksonville. Tomorrow I'm going to head to Baton Rouge. I'll head there today. I'll be there tonight. Wow. And when, <laughs> when did you start that? Oh, I've been traveling for 13 years. Good. 13, gracious. 14. <laughs> 2006 was my first year. Me or anybody gets to see people like you yeah. on TV. Ah. Sometimes on where they travel. Yeah. What, what's the most interesting, now I can ask you, what's the most <laughs> interesting place you've ever been? Oh, most interesting was Madagascar. It felt like I was in the 1970s. Wow. They still had bicycle taxis. Can you see, believe that? See what you're telling. <laughs> and me, I was born and raised in Onslow County. Yeah. Right here. And I'm still here. Uh, the furthest, honestly, now what I'm telling you, I've been to Florida. Oh, really? To Disney World. Yeah. I've been as far in, ten honestly, now Tennessee to Dollywood. You know what? probably heard of that. Now that would be a good area for you. To oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll go visit Dolly Land. <laughs> Disney World walked around. Oh yeah, I've been to Disney World a long time ago. What a nice place. Yeah. My daughter loves Disney World. <laughs> okay, great. I'll walk around the park. Thanks a lot right. for your advice. And nice meeting you. Same here, man. I'm really yeah. glad I've got to meet somebody like you who's trapped. Well, I found one of those helicopters that turns into an airplane flying above. That's pretty exciting. It sounds like a helicopter even though it's flying forward with the propellers forward.